Hey guys, Apple has officially released today watchOS 5.1.2 to the general public. If you have an Apple Watch, you can update today. Your iPhone needs to be running iOS 12.1.1 in order to support the latest versions of watchOS as well. So there's a few new features that came with the software, but of course one of the most anticipated is the ECG. The electrocardiogram application for Apple Watch has just been deployed with watchOS 5.1.2 and this is a major step forward for the technology and the evolution of Apple Watch. I want to test it for the first time here on camera with you guys. I want to share my experience and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and begin. So let's go ahead here to the uh, health application. When you first launch it, you'll get prompted with a splash screen that'll ask you if you want to set it up. Now, as I mentioned, I want to share my experience with you guys, so I didn't do that. I'm going to go ahead and do it manually. If you want to do it manually, you could go here to the heart and then scroll all the way down and then right here you'll see the electrocardiogram. So we can go ahead and set it up. Here's the splash screen set up. Let's go ahead, again, I'm doing this for the first time. So let's go ahead and enter my birth date, continue. And here's the really cool animation. How does ECG work? So you get an explanation on how it works. So this splash screen here pretty much explaining uh, that the Apple Watch with the ECG is tracking for AFib, right? In regular heartbeat uh, with your Apple Watch on the wrist using the uh, digital crown. The digital crown is a sensor on the Apple Watch Series 4. So let's go ahead and continue here. So right here it's also explaining if you have the sinus rhythm which is pretty much the normal heart rate pattern uh, that most of us do have. If you have AFib you have more of an inconsistent irregular heartbeat which is also monitored by this ECG of course and then you have your high and low heart rates as well. So very detailed explanation with the splash screen here setups. The final splash screen here details uh, information on what you should know. This will not detect any heart attacks. This uh, will not detect any blood clots and things like that. So be sure to read this carefully uh, and just click continue once you're ready. So now it's explaining how we have to do it. So record an ECG typically takes about 30 seconds. First, open the ECG application on Apple Watch and rest your arm on a table, which I do have, and then the finger on the digital crown. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start uh, with the process here. Let's go ahead and put the ECG application on Apple Watch here. Let's go ahead and launch it. There we go. And now I'm going to have to click OK and then put my finger on the digital crown. So there we go. We're going to wait for 30 seconds and this test should be completed. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part of the video. So here we go. You guys just witnessed my first ECG. I have the sinus rhythm, which is typically uh, a normal rhythm uh, pattern for the heart. So it looks like I'm A-OK -okay in regards to the uh, ECG test that I just performed heart rate at this point was 96 which is average for resting heart rate as I'm doing now so you have some emergency contact information right here for the emergency services if you need to call emergency services you can add this to uh, symptoms if you're feeling uh, you can add symptoms actually uh, if you don't feel well so you can keep track of what happens when so there we go I have the sinus rhythm you guys just experienced my first Apple Watch ECG right here live or live video recorded yes but the first one you guys get what I'm saying but here it is more information and breakdown after you're done with the first setup you get a breakdown of the information that the Apple Watch is providing this is magnificent this is a major breakthrough for the health industry and for the evolution of the Apple Watch and for technology in general this is amazing so let's go ahead and click uh, done and there we go now I can continue tracking and it will continue tracking my heart rhythm my heart rate and uh, I think this is amazing. If you guys don't have an Apple Watch Series 4, unfortunately you won't be able uh, to test this or if you're outside of the US for right now. But uh, there you guys have it. Just wanted to run this one by you guys. A very advancement to the Apple Watch with watchOS 5.1.2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.